My name is Father John Carton, and I'm a member of the General Council here for Scarborough Missions, as well as a chaplain for the Toronto Japanese Catholic community. So it's my pleasure to welcome all of you here today. It is the spring of 2011. The planting of Japanese cherry trees on the landmark grounds of Scarborough Missions on Kingston Road in the town of Scarborough, Ontario, says much about what the missionary community achieved in its past and how it sets out to serve today. I was asked to go to Japan. And I lived there for close to 30 years. Gradually, uh, the experience in Japan t taught me that God was there a long time before I got there, and that uh, God is present far beyond the walls of our church, or far beyond the boundaries of our church. And uh, my life has been changed because of it. You know, Oh, yeah. yeah. We started out as the China Missions with John Mary Fraser. We still have a single-mindedness in responding to the needs of the time, which was China, and now the needs of the time are very visible in a multicultural city like Toronto, but a very global world and that's where we work. Our mission now is to see God in all people and God in all faith traditions. Our mission now is to begin to really understand our connectedness with the earth and our responsibility to the planet. And in the ongoing process of mutual discernment, Scarborough has long had a commitment to serving the reign of God and working to change structures that are unjust in the world. That's long been a commitment. It's only been more recently that there's been a, a, a connection as well, that some of those same structures which are having impacts on people are having impacts on the environment. A lot of the, the priests who are involved in Scarborough obviously have been overseas and I think it gives a different perspective as to they are aware of what's going on in this world and, and the reality of, of, of life outside of Canada or outside of our um, you know, middle class society. Scarborough has offered a place over the course of many, many years for the laity to take an active role in, in building the Kingdom of God and the Church's mission, but they work in partnership with the laity, and I think that they've been really on the cutting edge of that. Scarborough always has been an organization with open mind ahead of the time. Priest has things to do, and lay people has other things to do, each of us according to our talents, but we are complementary. We go to mission to share our faith, we don't uh, preach, we don't proselytize. They have a lot to teach us, and when the opportunity is there, we share our faith and they share their faith with us. We often spend a lot of time listening. The openness to dialogue, which has been a long experience of many members of Scarborough Missions down through the years uh, in different countries throughout the world, uh, where they were encountering people from other religions and other faith communities for many, many, many years, well before the Second Vatican Council. And they have continued to have this openness. They're very, very progressive, very involved in many aspects of life. They care about so many things. They made us feel welcome and included, and they have been very, very supportive to our mission work. And I would be most encouraging to others to follow in the same footsteps that we have. It's been a wonderful, wonderful journey. I'd like to introduce several of our guests. Mr. Masaya Otsuka, and then the chaplain emeritus of the Toronto Japanese Catholic community, Father Tom O'Toole, who spent many, many years working in Japan. 
And then is Roy Sakaguchi, who is the chairperson for the Toronto Catholic Japanese community. A year in the planning, the tree planting ceremony now has a bittersweet relevance in the wake of Japan's triple disaster of earthquake, tsunami, and nuclear plant meltdown. The trees, a gift from Japanese citizens, mark the decades of service Scarborough missionaries gave while posted in Japan. As well as providing a home since the 1970s to the tiny Japanese Catholic community that worships every month at the Scarborough Mission Chapel. This project for Scarborough Mission was suggested in recognition of the friendship and goodwill between Canada and Japan. We hope that it's a good reminder uh, to everyone who sees it that we do have to make an active effort to promote peace and justice, just as Scarborough Mission promotes those important values. <laughs>